The Dyatlov Pass incident is one of the most enigmatic and unsettling cases in modern history. In late January 1959, a group of nine experienced hikers from the Ural Polytechnic Institute set out on an expedition across the northern Ural Mountains in Soviet Russia. Their destination was Otorton, a mountain 10 kilometers north of the site where the incident occurred. The group, led by Igor Dyatlov, never reached their destination. When search parties discovered their abandoned campsite weeks later, they encountered a scene fraught with inexplicable details. The tent was found shredded and covered with snow, but it was the fact that it had been cut open from the inside that raised initial alarms. The group's belongings and shoes were all left behind. Subsequent searches found the bodies of the hikers scattered around the area, many in states of semi-undress. Some had severe injuries. Strangely, forensic analysis revealed that these injuries were not consistent with those inflicted by humans. For instance, one hiker had a crushed skull, another had broken ribs, and a third was missing her tongue and eyes. Additionally, high doses of radiation were detected on some of the hikers' clothing, amplifying the mystery. Various theories have emerged over the years, ranging from avalanches and animal attacks to secret military tests and extraterrestrial encounters. Some suggest that infrasound-induced panic caused the hikers to flee their tents in a disoriented state, while others argue for more conventional explanations like hypothermia-induced paradoxical undressing. Despite numerous investigations and formal inquiries, the Russian authorities concluded the case with a vague statement attributing the deaths to compelling natural forces. However, this conclusion has done little to dispel the myriad of theories and speculations that continue to surround the incident. What remains undeniable is the profound and unsettling impact of this unresolved mystery. The Dyatlov Pass incident persists as a fascinating yet haunting puzzle. Its enduring allure lies not merely in its gruesome details, but in its capacity to provoke the imagination, compelling us to confront the limits of our understanding of the natural and, perhaps, the supernatural world.